What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we got this 2007 Dodge Caliber. Um, it's a uh, four cylinder engine and I'll give you the liters on this. Um, it's a 2.0 liter engine. We're gonna replace the cam sensor. There's two of them, bank A and B. Excuse me. Right, that was coming. Anyways, cam sensor for bank one and bank two, it's a slow response. So whenever I change the cam sensor, I don't just change one, I change them both. The reason is you're gonna get the code for the second one. So here's a part number. It's the same part number for both of them. And the brand we're using is standard. And they're about $30 each, 35 bucks each. You can pick it up probably for a little bit less than that. But I'm gonna show you how to change them both. It's very easy, nothing complicated. So when you get a code for one, you might as well just change them both. Anyways, let's begin this job immediately. Okay, so we got one sensor right here and the other one is back over here, right there. We're just gonna have to remove this plate here a bit and uh, should be easy job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this little guy right here. The sensor needs to come out. So we're gonna squeeze on this connector here. Let's see. Ah, if I can manage it. What am I squeezing? I could just twist this. Okay, there's a black little tab here. So we do need to push this tab back. And then let's turn it back. Because the only way to do this is if you get into that angle and it comes right off. And after that, you should be able to remove this little guy. And you're going to have much, much clearer view for that sensor right there. But we need to take off this thing completely. Let me figure something out. What you want to do is, you see this little guy right here? You want to turn this and turn this kind of clockwise and this thing comes right off and you just pull it off. And then you have much, much better access right there to the number 10 down there. It is a little tight spot. It's a 10 millimeter socket that you need to put. But up in here, you have this little connector. So what you want to do is get a needle nose and take off the connector so pretty much what i'm about to explain to you next is my plier fell down here before i forget let's get this guy out of here okay ah there's our connector and there's the sensor right down there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a number 10 what you want to do is you want to twist this little guy and let us just sit right there and we're gonna get that 10 and we're gonna get this guy out if you need to lift this, you can lift this uh, harness here. So let me go get a number 10. So I got me a number 10, uh, quarter inch drive, uh, wrench, ratchet, socket, and extension. So from right over here, we're gonna fit this thing right onto that and turn this guy. So much armor roll here, my hands are all slippery, already touching a few things. Okay, let's see if I could turn it all the way out from right here try not to drop that bolt but if you do drop it make sure you have a magnet just gonna grab a few so that looks like it's coming out just putting my finger on it okay and the bolt is out the bolt is out Let's put it somewhere safe we can put it up here now our next step is gonna be a little bit tricky so you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver. You're gonna just try to force the sensor out. It should budge a bit. And once it budges, you're gonna have more than enough space to take this guy out right from up over here. Okay. Even if it falls down, it's okay. You can fish it out of there. But there we have it. Tight little spot, but the sensor look like it's been there for so long. You see this O-ring right here? Make sure you put oil on the new O-ring of the sensor. So let's put this to the side. Let's go grab a new sensor. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this sensor. We're going to push it in from right here. Make sure you put your hand down below so it doesn't fall completely down. Just guide it to the hole. Make sure I did put a little bit of oil on the O-ring. And once you guide this guy into the spot, it should exactly it 
Okay, so we're gonna do it the same way we took out. We're gonna try to put that this end in first and then twist it down, okay? So, and after that, make sure you feel a budge, okay? It has to budge in there. Try not to uh, damage anything. You could put this right on the back end of the sensor and just slightly push it and it will go right in and you might have to turn it a bit so the sensor can align with the hole. And next step is critical. So we got our bolt. Where do we put our bolt? Up here. So the next step right here is, I'm gonna show you a small little trick. So we got our, see I put a little piece of paper between the bolt and the socket. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this guy in there. Once it's in there, that paper will just fall out. That's no problem. And we're pretty much done with this guy. There you go. All I need to do is put my ratchet on. So let's get our ratchet next. Just hand tighten, okay? Don't go crazy. You don't want to snap that bolt. And bada bing, bada boom. That's how simple that is. We're gonna bring this back. We do need to put the connector on, so make sure you put your connector on. And once you have your connector on, it should click. Make sure you put this guy back on. Make sure you put your sensor here in. Make sure that red tap clicks in. And make sure you lock this guy up. And you're all done with this sensor. So next, we're gonna move to the back. So with the back one, what I wanna do first is I wanna remove this number 10 here. So you're gonna need a deep socket. out of the way you should be able to move the shield back a bit it's okay if you want to fold it a bit you can even take off this harness right here all right let's leave that guy on so we're gonna push on this connector we're gonna remove this guy now we need to get to that number 10 but this is not gonna allow us to do that so we do need to remove this little harness here and completely push this guy down same thing we're gonna take our number 10 i can't even see back down here i might have to get me a chair guys i got the number 10 on it but it's really complicated for me to grab a camera and do this so what you want to do is take off that 10 just like the front one and repeat the process and then put everything back together and you're all done and we're gonna leave it there and after that you can reset the light and you're all finished okay guys i'm all done got the new sensor in there Make sure you put the connector back in. It is a little lousy spot. Not bad though. And I did disconnect this oxygen sensor, but what we're gonna do is let's put this guy back in. And we got our number 10. Connector back in the spot and we're gonna take our ratchet lock up this tent bada bing and don't forget to stick this clip back in and I'm gonna get that in the spot but we're all done I need to get it straightened up a bit and you're all done. Thank you for watching, guys. See you guys on the next one. After that, just reset the light, and you're all done.